In this lesson, we're going to learn about and talk about the surface area of pyramids and cones. First off, we need to know the characteristics or the parts of our cones. So let's go through here. We have the altitude or the height. We've seen that before. We have the base, which is the yellowish with a little bit of black object on the bottom. We have the vertex, which we've seen before. We know what corner points are. We also have seen lateral edges before. Notice that's the brown edge. The piece that goes from the vertex at the top to a vertex at the bottom is a lateral edge. Then along with that, we have our lateral faces, which would be the blue colored triangle here. And on this triangle, since it is a pentagon, we have five lateral faces. And last, we have the slant height. Slant height is a new term for us. The slant height is going to go from the vertex down to the edge of the base, but now instead of touching at a vertex, we actually are going to touch just on the side. But it's going to meet perpendicular to the base because it is a height. So it's going to be meeting at a right angle to the base, but not at one of the corner vertices. How to find the areas of a pyramid? There's two types of areas, remember. We have the surface area and we have the lateral area. To find surface area, we take 1 half times P. P stands for perimeter. So 1 half times perimeter times that cursive letter L there. That cursive letter L stands for slant height. So we have th actually three new letters that we've never seen before. P is perimeter. L is slant height. And the capital B actually stands for the area of the base. So P is for perimeter. L is for slant height. And the big B stands for the area of the base. You'll start to hear me say more and more that you have to use the right letters in the right cases. So you can't use a little b if you're talking about the area of the base. Then if we want to do lateral area, the only thing we get rid of, rid of is the area of the base. Find the surface area of the right regular pyramid. Regular means that the base of that pyramid is a square. So we have a right regular pyramid. Well the base part is pretty easy so that's not going to be too hard but we have to get a, uh, the P and the L. So let's first write down our formula. Surface area equals one half perimeter times slant height plus the area of the base. Well the thing that we don't have in this question is actually the slant height. The slant height would go from the six back up to the vertex of the triangle. The nice thing is we can actually create the right triangle there. We know the height is six, or excuse me, the height is four. The length from the center of this regular figure to the edge, which I didn't exactly draw right. Let me fix that for you. That looks a little better. Uh, the, the distance from the center of the figure to the edge is going to be half the length of the side, which would be 3. Now, hopefully you can see the triangle. I'll trace this last side in red. We have a right triangle in there. So to find the missing piece, which would be the slant height, I'm just going to do 3 squared plus 4 squared equals my slant height. Or 9 plus 16 equals the slant height. And from there, we can get the slant height is 5. Now we should have everything we need for the formula. The surface area is equal to 1 half of the perimeter of the base. We need to add up all four sides. We have a 6 by 6 by 6 by 6. So the perimeter of the base is 24. The slant height we just figured out was 5 plus the area of the base. Since the base is a square, we can take one side and square it. 6 times 6, length times width, base times height, it all works the same. 
Now we just got to calculate our numbers out. 1 half of 24 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. 6 squared is 36. Our area, or surface area, of this shape is 96 units squared. If I only wanted the lateral area, I would use just the 60, because that was the lateral area. 36 was the base. To get lateral area, I wouldn't use the base. Here's our formulas for the surface area of a right cone. We're not talking obliques here, just right cones. We have pi RL, that L is the same slant height that we used the last time, and pi R squared. So the surface area is pi RR, pi RL plus pi R squared. Then the lateral surface area, we just don't use the base, which is a circle, which is where the pi R squared comes from. Let's try and find the surface area of this cone. Do you notice what we're missing this time? Do you see that we don't have a radius? Well, again, we can create a right triangle. We can use the slant height of 26 and the altitude of the cone of 24 in order to figure that out. We can once again use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the length of the radius. We would do 26 squared, that's our hypotenuse, equals 24 squared minus b squared. Simplifying this, you would get 100 equals b squared, or b equals 10, b being the length of our radius. We now have everything we need. The surface area of a cone is pi r l plus pi r squared. Now substitute. We know r is 10. We know L is 26 plus pi times 10 squared. So surface area, we're getting closer, is 260 pi plus 100 pi. If we were looking for lateral area, we would be done. The 260 pi is our lateral area. But if we want surface area, we need to add these together. 260 pi plus 100 pi is 360 pi inches squared. And like I've said before, it is A-OK -okay to leave pi in your answers as long as it is completely simplified and completely put together. That's the end of Pyramids and Cones.